There have been some awful NFL coaches throughout NFL history. In this video, I will be going over the five worst NFL head coaches heading into the 2022 NFL season. Coming in at number five, we have Cliff Kingsbury. He started his head coaching with Texas Tech. In his six years with the organization, he only had two winning seasons. He finished his career there with an overall record of 35 and 40. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Even with a losing record, the Cardinals front office decided that they wanted him to be their new head coach. What the hell are you talking about? In his three years with the Cardinals, he has posted a 24, 25, and 1 record. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. His late season collapses from college have easily carried over to the NFL. Coming in at number four, we have Matt Rule. He had a very successful college career as a head coach, both with Temple and with Baylor. He was known for turning around struggling teams, which is a major reason why the Panthers hired him. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Lord. It just hasn't happened in the NFL for him. I'm getting so sick of you. He's had a 10-23 and 23 record with the Panthers, and with a seemingly very talented roster at his hands, he seems to not be able to compete with other teams. The owner is also willing to do whatever is needed to make the team better. This is more than likely going to be his last year, unless he has a massive turnaround. Doubtful. At number three, we have Lovey Smith. He started his head coaching career back in 2004 with the Bears. He had some success making it to playoffs three times in nine years with the organization. They also won three postseason games with him as the head coach. Now the bad news. Here comes the bad part. He hasn't had a winning record as a head coach since 2012. After the Bears, he had a 8-24 and record with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He tried his luck in college. Yeah. Again. as the Illinois head coach and proceeded to have five losing seasons. This is now his third shot as a head coach in the NFL. At number two, we have Todd Bowles. He started his NFL coaching career back in 2015 with the New York Jets and actually had a great first season with them. <laughs> what? And then everything fell apart and he got fired. He now takes over for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who have immense talent on both sides of the ball. At number one, we have Dennis Allen. He has huge shoes to fill with Sean Payton retiring this past offseason. This won't be easy. Even though he has had success as the, the defensive coordinator for the New Orleans Saints, he hasn't had that same success as a head coach in the NFL. In his previous stint with the Raiders, he posted a abysmal overall record with the team, and he was actually fired four games into his third season. 